Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Resume. This is Resume You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you are checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I have a large, amazing thrift store haul. Jack and I stopped off at a couple of thrift stores, Goodwill and Savers, the majority of the things we found at Savers. So as I go through these items, because they're just kind of all piled up here, I'll let you know which uh, place we found them from. This first item is a, a three ring little binder. And this is uh, made out of like a material and the front is just really pretty. You can see 99 cents. It has A through Z and the, the A through Z tabs are all laminated flowers. And then on the back side, I think it's it tells you what flower it is. I thought this would be a great, great start to a junk journal. It does have the other pages that I can also include in the junk journal just as extras and stuff. But I thought, what a great find. Uh, I loved the pictures of the flowers. And again, they are all laminated uh, A through Z. So I thought that was a great find. That was at Savers. This next one was at uh, Goodwill. And... Uh, I saw this and my plan is I'm going to be making a junk journal out of uh, uh, with a teddy bear theme. I saw this and I fell in love with it. I thought I could use it as a cover or something. It is really super cute little teddy bears. thought that was great. And then inside, inside there, this little box were these three little um, like photo albums. And I thought that was really cute. I could use the pages. Some of these I could use as little shakers in the journal. I thought that was really, really super cute. So you have all those pages. They are like a chipboard page. So you have this one in purple. You have basically the same thing in red and in green. And then they do have the tie on the uh, edge of the book. And I thought, what a cute, cute find. And uh, so they just fit in the box just like, uh, well, let's see if I can put them in there, just like that. And I, I saw that and I'm like, what is that? So I pulled it out and that's what I discovered. So I thought that was really cute. This was, oh, I'm not, I may not be able to see. Uh, this was $2.99. Okay, I'm going to try to stack that up there. Uh, let me get to some of this other stuff. Jack found uh, this photo paper at, Good, at Savers for 99 cents, and all it is is, uh, I think, 5 by 7 photo paper, and I love to do distress ink on photo paper. So I thought, I, yes, I could always use that, and that was a great price. More photo paper, but this is the bigger sheets, also for 99 cents, and it seems like most of that's in there. That was at Savers. He found, uh, I think this is a modem, and I think uh, he says this is the exact one we are currently using, and let me see if I find a price. Yes, $5 for that. So that's a great, great find. Always use that just in case ours goes out. I found a binder. I have found two other binders in some previous thrift store uh, hauls or trips. Uh, and I really love these binders. They're well made. They are, you know, uh, made with all metal hinges and, and rings. And this was 99 cents. I just really love the way these hold up. They're not like made <laughs> like from today. I think these are from way, way back. So uh, got that. Also in the... Um, office area that was at savers this is at savers as well $2.99 for this spinny organizer you have lots of spaces to organize you have your center one then you have uh, all these little ones here and even some larger ones here and there's just all sorts of little uh, areas to tuck some stuff in and organize your uh, I'm thinking crafty stuff so I like it that it spins. I really do. I think I want to put my uh, colored pencils that I just got from Sam's Club a week ago in them. So I thought that was good. 
Jack spotted this uh, grab bag. Grab bag is $2.99. I'm going to open it. I love thrift shopping with Jack. He just can spot things. He got this uh, Scotch 3M. I think it's uh, like double-sided sticky tape but like for outdoors or something. So there's that. It looks new. Then he uh, spotted that there was this Crafter Square. Um, I think this is the pop-up dot tape. And uh, there's one missing, but there's two. So I thought that's fine. So we got the tape. I spotted this at uh, Savers. All this is from Savers. I'll let you know what's from uh, Goodwill. This is from Savers. It is a punch. And this was $1.99. And the there's the shape. It's a, a bow or a ribbon. So I thought that was a great find. I didn't have anything like that. All right, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right All back. Right in the stationary area, I found another binder. This one was quite heavy, so I thought, hmm, for $5.99, there's got to be some goodies inside. I open it up and there is trading cards. Trading cards from our hot air balloon fiesta. Now, people do collect these. We have our uh, fiesta every October. And uh, yeah, people do collect these. And this is a pretty good collection. I have a few so I can add to this. But I was thinking I would love to send some of these out in friend mail. And then I was talking to my dear friend Annie. And she goes, oh, those are the perfect size for ATC cards. So those will be fun to make ATC cards as well. And then I have the pockets for uh, you know, other uses later on too. So also in the binder, there was uh, some more cards in the back. So I got those. And then also a postcard. So that's kind of neat. And then in the front pocket, there were some buttons. So people also collect buttons from the uh, Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. And then this one as well. Also, people collect pins. And so, pins. And uh, I found a pin in there. And this one, I think I have in my collection. I only have a few in my collection. But I think I have this one. This one is Wicked. So, they come out with a, a pin every year. So, uh, that was several years ago. And I thought that was, that was kind of a, a neat little find in this binder. So a, a great find for $5.99, I thought. Let me set that over there. Jack found this uh, battery uh, box. Put your battery in there to store it. And he found that for $1.99. So uh, he thought that was a great, great deal. They go certainly for a lot more than that. Will Jack spotted this big, big basket. And uh, it is a basket. The price tag was $20, but it was filled with ribbon. It is heavy and is filled to the brim with ribbon. So we take it up to go pay. And the, the lady says, if it has a green tag, all that ribbon came from Target. And I'm like, wow. So a super duper find. And I'll be sharing this with my dear friend, right. Donna. As I'm getting into junk journaling, I am looking for items for the junk journals. So I was looking in the book section and I found this one. What a find. I think it is. It's called Our Times, the Illustrated History uh, of the 20th century. And I thought, ooh, you know, to include some pages of the subject that I am working on. I thought it was great. And I'll just kind of try to do a flip through. This was amazing. So I thought that would be fun to have and to be able to uh, pull things out for the junk journal. This was $2.99. All right, this next book, I didn't even know it was a book. So I was in the stationary area you know where I found the couple of binders and stuff like that and I saw this uh big item on the bottom shelf and I thought it was a photo album because 
where they have the photo albums is on the next shelf and or the next aisle over. And so I spotted this and I'm just thinking it's a photo album. Well, I pull it out. I didn't read. I couldn't read the cover. So uh, I just opened it and I was like stunned. I was surprised and it was a great surprise. What this is, is a large book. It says front pages. The year is from 18... Let me make sure I got the date right for you. It's called Front Pages, um, a collection of historical headlines from the Los Angeles Times, 1881 through 1987. When I opened it and I realized what it was, I gasped. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I was hoping nobody was around me. <laughs> so what an incredible find. And I'm just going to open a few pages. And I'm thinking, junk journaling, perfect. But as I'm coming home and I'm talking to Jack about this, and I'm like, I cannot tear this book apart. I cannot do that. Maybe I'll find a way to... Uh, copy it and include in junk journal, uh, uh, you know, uh, junk journals, but I cannot take this book apart. It is so precious. And so I love this kind of stuff. And so I found this and it was $5.99. I thought that was an incredible find. I thought that was the find of the day. However, there's more. Let's go back to Goodwill. Jack spotted this item as well and says, come take a look at this. And he goes, uh, do you know anything about spell binders? And I'm like, yeah, they make a really good die cutting machine. And so he goes, take a look at this. This is a collector's edition. So we're wondering, well, it's $30. That's what it says they wanted it for. So $30, Let's see if you can see it right. Uh, let's see where the price, how the price is. Um, right there. And uh, he goes, for that price, let's go check and make sure everything's inside. We go up to the uh, front counter. We ask the lady if we can open it up. She says, no problem, go ahead. We open it up, it's brand new. It's never been taken out of the package. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So this is, uh, so I'm gonna let you look at the package once again. Let's see if I show you, there's the front of it, spell binders. So of course, you know, we have to come home, do some research on it. Uh, this is uh, no longer in production, but spell binders does have one uh, that they are selling for I think it's like $80 plus $20 shipping, so $100. But there's another lady on eBay, I think, that is selling it for $200. And again, it is well made. The gears are made out of uh, their metal. Uh, well made. I'm so excited to have this. They have the plates inside. It is brand new. Never been taken out of the package. So between... The front pages book and this and the ribbon I think we did really really good today now I do have more thrift store items I'm going to pause for just a second and show right. you between a couple of trips with Jack to the thrift store at Savers and Goodwill and a trip to Savers with my BFF Camille I found a boatload of little golden books so I'm really interested in doing some junk journals with little golden books and I'm going to move the camera and I am going to go through these little golden books on a separate video and show you the little golden books I found at the thrift store and you guys are going to be amazed. Can you see the stack? And then I found a mini one. Found a couple of others too. Look at the stack. I think I counted about 74 little golden books. There are duplicates in here. And so when I go through my little golden book finds, um, I'm going to tell you my plans for them. I'm certainly going to do junk journaling, but I have some plans for them as well. So uh, I'm going to kind of stop there for now. Um, I may do the little golden book uh, thrift store haul next week sometime. So look for that. But all in all, what a fun, fun trip to the thrift store, uh, thrift stores. 
just had a fun, fun time. I just love going to thrift stores and seeing what you can find. You never know. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Till next time, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.